You can also instruct ESEC to download a gene set from UCSC. That's what we are doing now. It, now it is downloading HD19, which is one of the reference genomes from the human genome. And it's the one which corresponds to the data we have imported. And once it is downloaded, then we get this import wizard. ESEC will uh, know the format of the imported gene sets from UCC, so it will make a correct interpretation of where to find, in which columns to find the appropriate information. So you don't need, need to change anything here. But if you have your own format, then you will need to instruct ESEC on where to find accession numbers, uh, gene start positions, se uh, coding sequences, and things like that. But right now, we can just go with the default. Then it will import the genes and once we have a gene set imported then we will start to have gene information here in the tracks and we can also go to a particular list a particular gene just by typing the name now we can go to b2 then you see the locus here the OP2 logos and we can of course zoom in and zoom out uh, using the nav navigation tool and when we have a gene set imported then we can use the gene so set to extract regions into a region set we use this tool over here for that and uh, if we for instance wanted to extract the description start sites then we change this setting to start then we are changing some regions that go from the start of the gene to the start of the gene. Um, we could also introduce an offset. Let's say we wanted to have some regions that correspond to minus 1000 base pairs upstream the TSS to plus 1000 base pairs downstream the TSS. Then we type it here, click OK. Now we have 54,000 regions corresponding to the transcription start sites or the 2000 base pairs around the transcription start sites. You can see the coordinates here. And we could, for instance, set up some new heat maps corresponding to these. You can see now that we have a new set of regions to visualize uh, as heat maps. Just change the order so it corresponds to the previous heat maps. Move the plots up here. Now you can see we have signal here, K36 signal downstream of the transcription start sites. Actually, I, I didn't really manage to match the order, so I can do that afterwards just by moving the plots around. Now it matches, so we have K36 over here, and we have K27 trimethylation over here. Sorry. So now it matches the order. We have K36 trimethylation here, and we have K27 trimethylation here in these four plots. Up here, we are looking at the CPG islands. Down here, we are now looking at the transcription start sites. And um, they are, of course, also clickable, just as the other set of regions were. So you can visualize the fraction of, um, of regions that you like to 